We are talking about the differences between America and the other countries. Good morning. I'm Maren Meyer and I'm from Germany. Ciao. I'm Elisa Landy. I'm from Italy. Good morning. I'm Mary Ann Stray and I'm from Norway. Did you ever think about how a person from another country sees America? Well, I'm one of those persons. I'm only here for one year. And my parents and all my friends always ask me about, Marion, what's the biggest difference between America and Germany? And my answer was the school. And you ask why? Well, one reason why it is, is that the relationship between the teachers and the kids here in America is way better than it is in Germany. If you have problems or if you have personal issues, you always can go to the teachers and they always help you. You can stay after school or they're going to teach you it again if you don't know what's going on in class. Well, in Germany, if you have a problem, you really have a problem because the teachers are not going after, they're not going to stay after school. So you're on your own. You have to make sure you get the stuff done and you're independent. So it's your responsibility to like, get into the boat again. Another reason is the teachers in Germany think they're so high. They're like queens and kings. And they treat us like just as kids. Well, here in Johnson, like here in America, they are, it's all a big family. The whole school works together. And like the teachers help the kids, the kids help the teachers. So I like it way better here in America. And the last reason why I think it's the biggest difference is here in America, in Greater Johnson, there are a lot of teachers and security guards who make sure that the kids are going to class, that they're going to shop for school, and they're going to be on time. Well, in Germany, nobody cares. If you show up for school, that's fine. If not, well, that's fine to eat, too. So it's your responsibility that you like, go to class, be on time, and like, yeah, that's what the teachers are teaching in class and school. They're going to teach how to be independent and how to be prepared to go out in the world and to present yourself. So in Germany, it's just like either you survive or you just don't. The biggest difference I experience here in America is the nationalism. In fact, I noticed that every single classroom has an American flag, and before the start of the day, teachers and the students uh, say the Pledge of Allegiance uh, towards the flag and do a moment of silence. In my country, we don't have flags all over, Italian flags all over the school, and our national anthem is played just before big events, uh, like three times or four times a year, and not before every single sports game, like here in America. Uh, also, I noticed that uh, a lot of American people are so proud of being American, of living in this country, and uh, they really trust uh, each other. And uh, this is a really good thing, because you should remember uh, always where you come from and all the people that grew up with you and uh, live uh, with you. While in my country, Italian people are, yes, proud of being Italian, but we don't show as much as American people do. But if American people are so proud of being American and uh, they really trust each other and the government, why should they carry guns with themselves to protect themselves? Well, this is a huge difference between here and my country. Because while here you can get a license, you can pay for your gun and you can carry your gun uh, wherever you go, well, in my country you can't own a gun. You are illegal if you have a gun. So we, we don't get a license or we don't pay for that. What I think is most different is the way parents treat their kids here. Compared to the standards at home, they treat us as if we're 14 here, even though we're 18 and we're adults here. And back home, no one's going to think twice. If you, when you're 18, have your license, you can go on road trips with your friends, you can go away for the weekend, and it's normal that you come home around midnight on weekdays. And here, they have the term helicopter parents, because parents are always watching over what their kids are doing, and they're very protective of them. So here, if they're going on a road trip, the parents would like to know when they're leaving, when they're coming back, what they're doing, who they're with, and they have this list that you have to fill out before you go so that will like to know. And we don't have that. And there's also small things here, like they have to, or when you get an account on internet, like Twitter or Facebook, they would like to know your password so they can access it and check to see who you're talking to and that your talking is appropriate. And in school, they're very involved, too. They have to check your grades and sign your grade reports, and they sign your permission slips. And if you don't show up to school, they will know about it, and they will always know where you are and what you're doing at every time. And both sides has pros to it. Back home, you're more independent, and you have more responsibility than you do here. 
but here you always have someone you can count on, you have your parents, and if you have a problem, or you struggle with something, then your parents will always be there and they can help you and together you can solve it. So I feel like parents or kids here are more open and they share a lot more than we do, and I think that's a very nice difference. Overall, we are so thankful we had the chance to live one year abroad here in America because we got to know a different culture in a different world with different lifestyles. This experience is helping us to grow up in a place where we had to start everything from zero and uh, we had to build our own world and uh, now this is, became our second house. And, uh, we, now that our experience is getting closer and closer to the end, we wish we could stay longer because we feel part of this different but beautiful world. Thanks.